Good afternoon, children. So today in this video we are going to learn the fifth chapter of Indigo book that is Indigo. And you know this chapter Indigo is purely based on history and some of the incidents, the the incident which is described in this chapter, you know, is so important in the history and in the political life of India. And this incident has so much of importance for Gandhi ji because you know. This chapter talks about and the phase of the Gandhi ji's political life, the phase into which he was, where he is described in this chapter is so important because that time he had he he had just you know got into got into the political life of India and he was he was on his way of fighting against the Britishers for giving for giving us that freedom. So from that point of view, it's so important. It's important for all Indians. you know to to have a very uh, good understanding of political life about the india's freedom struggle and about gandhi ji so you know there is no denying the fact that it was not only gandhi ji for whom you know we got our freedom so there were like and number of uh, political leaders and uh, our countrymen who laid down their life but of course when it comes for giving the leadership so gandhi ji gave that leadership so under the leadership of gandhi ji all this thing has become possible so today's chapter is you know the name of this chapter is indigo so our, our chapter is indigo indigo is you know what indigo is basically is is an excerpt it's an excerpt an excerpt of what it's an excerpt of biography It's an excerpt of biography. What is the name of that biography? Of which this is the excerpt. The name of that biography is the life of Gandhi Ji. The life of Gandhi. So try to understand. This Indigo chapter is an excerpt of biography. And the name of that biography is the the life of Gandhi Ji. And who is that the writer? The writer is Louis Fisher. He is the writer. He is the author. He is the biographer of this book. And this book, you know, published in the year nineteen hundred fifty. So you know, this Louis Fisher as a writer, as a journalist, as a historian, as a biographer is so important. So first, I need to talk a lot about this 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 biographer, Louis Fisher, because you know, some of his works are so widely known. so widely you know uh, liked and understood that first i need to talk about louis fisher that who was this this person so his life is for his time was you know, he was born in 1896 and then he died in the year of 1907 so let us talk that where he was he was born and uh, to to which which nation did he belong to so he was born in philadelphia Philadelphia. Louis Fisher was born in Philadelphia. What is this Philadelphia? You know, Philadelphia is the largest U.S. city in the state of Pennsylvania. We need to understand, you know, some of the things. We need to have some good knowledge about the geography and history. And we need to broaden our mind. You know, sometimes we need to go out of limited information which is given in textbook, and we need to we need to learn to explore more about going out of the textbook. You know, and that makes our understanding. Because when you are learning, it's it's all about you know history. So you need to learn something from here and there, and you need to learn something more. You know, if you keep your information very limited, only with the information which is given in the textbook. So you will have a tough time to understand and enjoy the reading story, and that's why you know I have I have started telling you something that you know Louis Fisher was born in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is the largest U.S. city in the state of Pennsylvania, and it is you know in terms of population, it is this Philadelphia is the sixth most populous populous U.S. city. So this we something we read about you know Louis Fisher where he was born and 
which state and which city he was born. And he was, you know, he was an American, an American journalist. American journalist. You know, he, he was also a journalist, he was also a biographer. So, like he was a very multi-facet person and person. So now let us talk about, you know, that uh, that like of among his works, among his all important works, what were the works for which he is so widely and popularly known throughout the world? So he particularly wrote three books, you know. He has written many books, but you know, particularly he known for uh, his you know his books are uh, acclaimed. Uh, it's known widely read for three books. And the name of that first book, you know, the God that failed, the God that failed. This is one book, you know, this book. And why you would say that, you know, sir, you, why you are talking about so much about his work, Louis Fishes, why not getting into directly to the chapter? So I am talking about this book, you know, this, this book of Louis Fisher is the next chapter of the Flaming Bow. This is the fifth lesson chapter, Indigo. The next chapter is Poet and Pancakes. And in that chapter, Poet and Pancakes, there is a mention of this book. There is a mention of this book. So you need to understand that this book is so important, you know, you, if you want to learn about the world history. So this book is so famous. And it is also important for you because when you read the next chapter, when I teach you the next chapter, that is the Poet and Pancakes. So in that book, chapter, you know, there is a mention of this book. So the God that failed and that book, you know, published in 1949. So let us talk about that. What is this book? You know, this book is it's a, it's a classical work. A classical a classical work and a documents of Cold War. I will tell you this term Cold War also, you know. Cold War of Cold War which which brings six essays of six essays of most important writers of twentieth century. See, I need now I need to stop and tell you one thing in more detail. So this, the, the God that failed is this book is not entirely written by Lewis Fisher. This book, you know, is a, is a collection of the essays contributed by the six different writers. So that's why I have written, brings the six essays of most important writers of 20th centuries. And the writers which have contributed their work into this book, you know, they, 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 they were very famous. Who were those six writers? So let us know about those six writers. That who were those six writers? Which essays have been included uh, into this book called The God That Failed? So first is the name is Henry. Henry the first and second is Richard Richard Wright and third writer for this book third writer is Ignazia Ignazia Sloan and the fourth is Arthur Coes Club. Fifth is now Louis Fisher. And sixth writer in this uh, for this book is your know, Stephen Spender. Stephen Spender. Stephen Spender name, you know. Uh, you have the second poem of your Fleming book, that is the an elementary school class of this now, so he is the poet, so he is here. So that book, so what is the name of the book? The God That Failed. The God That Failed. So this God That Failed, there are six different writers. And you know, that uh, 
they these writers belong from different countries as well. So it is also important to see for you, you know, that these all writers belong from different nations. So Andre Hill was from France, and then he was from US, and Indonesia was from Italy. Arthur was from Germany. And this special author was American. We are learning today. And this wasn't Stephen Spender. Wasn't English. Yes, England. So this. So the, this was the first. And this book appeared in you know, the Nagar Magazine, nineteen hundred forty-nine. So this was that book, the God that failed. And this book is actually, you know, is a collection of essays of six different writers. And this book talks about the Cold War. Cold War, you know that Cold War. You uh, see, these are terms are so important that you need to understand. Cold War, you know, just immediately after the Second World War, the entire world got divided into two blocks. One was the Western Bloc, with that bloc went America and uh, some of the NATO countries, and the East Bloc was US. That uh, Russia and some of the Eastern European countries, and this Cold War you know started. It went on from 47 and then 1991. Why this Cold War you know stopped in 1991? Because in 1991, that is uh, USSR, right? Soviet uh, Russia, you know that got disintegrated. So that was that got an end to the Cold War. So this was that book. Now let us talk about what is the theme of this book. So the theme of this book, you know, that all these six writers, you know, it was that initially they got interested. It was the journey, the journey of six writers into communalism. Communism and their disillusion, disillusion return. So this was this is the theme of this book. Try to understand. The theme of this book is what the God that said. The theme of this book, you know, these all six writers initially they liked the idea of communalism, but eventually they understood that it was not a very good idea. And finally, you know, they felt like cheated and deceived, and that's why they again, you know, they, they gave up the idea of communism. So this was that book. And why did I talk so much about this book, the God that failed? Because you know, going to the next chapter, that is your the poet in that case. There you will get to read about this this book, these writers, this theme, and this communism. And that's why I am giving you this things here because this is the work of the Louis Fisher. Now let us talk about the next next work of Louis Fisher. That what was the next work? The next work was, of course, the life of Gandhi. This was the next work of Louis Fisher that book was published in nineteen fifty. Life and this indigo, this chapter, our indigo chapter is an excerpt, excerpt of this chapter of this biography. That I have already told you. It is a repetition, but you know, repetition is again good because you know it's 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 really you know it it helps you to uh, to, to get memorized the things. Now this book, the life, you know, there have been written so many books by Dr. Jawaharlal Nehru, but in this book, the life of Gandhi ji, you know, has been reviewed as the most you know important work ever written on Gandhi ji. And now here I also tell you one thing. Because you know it, 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 uh, that this uh, this the life of this biography. This is the basis of the academy. If you have some interest about the Oscar films, so this book, you know, uh, the academy award, academy award winning, academy award winning movie. A Kerala award winning movie that we call Oscar, you know, based on this biography, the life of Gandhi ji. 
there was made a movie the gandhi ji gandhi and that movie came in the year got released in the year 1982 this movie and you know as a child i have seen this movie so much because you know every you know on every second october this book uh, this movie is uh, telecast on uh, different channels so this movie was released in 1982 and this the the movie is was entirely based on this uh, biography the life of uh, gandhi ji written by louis ji and that movie you know got nominated this movie got nominated for different 11 different categories 11 different categories this movie and finally it won eight oscars eight oscars it won and this oscar you know the standard in all these things is people have kept so high that you know uh, so far not a single indian movie bollywood movie or any regional movie has not been able to win any of the oscars so it got best or Osc- eight oscars you know best film best director best actor screen play and the person who played the role of gandhi ji you know ben kinsley kinsley ben kinsley played this role of gandhi and you know i have to say that you must see that movie that that movie is really you know a kind of movie sweat and the character when i see this ben kinsley playing the role of gandhi you know i hardly believe you know that he did not play gandhi ji all his you know gestures and the movements and uh, the body language he thoroughly copied gandhi so this this uh, this was something happened about this so now i would say about the next work of uh, louis fisher what was the next work of his two books we have already talked about the third book that he has written is the life of lenin see today i am only talking about history you know something about yes you know uh, i am telling you something more than i should have told you but then again you know i want to give you that kind of minimum exposure to the history of the world history you know it really helps you to have a good understanding that how we what how how the world you know how it was and all how historically and in a, in a world history what different things went on and uh, that's why that's why I'm not telling you all this so the life of legend was the his third book and this book you know in 1965 and this book is also so important that that book won the national book award this award is really really uh, like you know prestigious award that only uh, given to some of the very exceptionally well written books so it was and this book got uh, this national award books in in history and the category was history and a biography biography now when i have talked so much about lenin you know so let us talk about it. who was this lenin so lenin you know he was a russian in history you must have read russian revolutionary he was a russian revolutionary and politician politician and then you know he served as the head of government of russian russian country from 19 17 in 1924 and as a head of Russian Union and uh, Russian Soviet from 1922 to 1924 and this Lenin you know Lenin was actually a communist communist he was a communist ideologically And but his ideas was a bit different from Marxism, and his theories were called Leninism. You know this communism, this Cold War, the book, the God that said all I have talked so much, going so many details, so much of detail, because all these things are mentioned in the next chapter. That is, you know, uh, that is the poet in the pancakes. So today. now let us coming back to the chapter 
our topic is you know the title of this chapter is indigo so let us understand this indigo what was that indigo and why did this britishers they required indigo in such a huge amount so again there is you know there, there is some logic behind it so england uk was the first uh, country you know to go uh, to have got industrialized so england was the first country where the first industries were set up and of all the industries which was set up so uh, textile industry was the first industry and in textile industry first of all they started producing you know cotton clothes white clothes and in india you know is known for having uh, producing some of the very finest quality of cotton so what did the british they used to do they used to take the raw material from our country to ship to their factories and when the things were produced they used to bring the products and sell back in our country so you know this indigo was a kind of pigment it was a color and which was used you know for brightening for uh, for whitening you know by putting indigo into white clothes so the clothes used to you know, get some more brightness for this reason you know this britishers they required uh, the indigo in such use amount but again there is a twist but you know after some time it was known that the german people the german countries you know they invented synthetic indigo and when synthetic indigo was known invented so the british were not in need of any kind of uh, natural indigo and from there the problem starts so this was i told you you know why did the british they require indigo and uh, then again uh, what did happen after the invention of the synthetic indigo and that would all i tell you into the next video in the next lecture of mine so today only and only i have talked about mainly in the video of some of the very historical towns and the works of the louis fisher as a writer as a autobiography is that clear children so this much of information you just you know have in your mind and in the next video of mine i will come out with more of the details of the chapter and i will be taking you through the journey of this chapter thank you and god bless you